issue of taxation, I really want to advise uh, President William Good. Number one, uh, I want to talk generally about economics and probably we'll pick what is important and urgent from all that which will save the economy of this country, of our beloved nation, Kenya. If you look at uh, Adam Smith, in his book, In the Wealth of Nations, Adam Smith stated clearly that it is not from the benevolence of the chef, the brewer, nor the, the butcher, that we get to eat our dinner, but, their, but by their interest attached to it. So you see the idea of taxation it is not coming in good faith. And in economics, there are three schools of thought in economics. The classical school of thought, the Austrian school of thought, and the Keynesian school of thought from the great man called John Maynard Keynes. The classical school of thought is so clear that the wealth of a nation is calculated based on its national income on the basis of the national income and the national income is based on the work of its inhabitants okay and uh, the president is largely using the classical school of thought together with the austrian school of thought but the best model the best school of thought is the keynesian school of thought john maynard Keynes was from Britain. And during the Great Depression in America, the depression that almost paralyzed the whole nation, that almost brought the world, the global economy, to its knees, that assaulted the global economy, he came up with a simple theory, simple model that worked. And the Keynesian school of thought is what this nation, is what Ruto should use. And it is very clear. It states that during an economic downturn like what we are having now, during a recession, during assault of the economy, the government, in its wisdom, must ensure that tax is reduced, tax is cut down, and the government injects money into the economy, into the system. So that the person, so that the bottom-up economy they were talking about, the person on the ground gets more money in their pockets, creates high demand, spends more. With spending more, high demand is created. When high demand is created, then our economy grows. Because with the increase in demand, will automatically increase uh, 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 not the consumption, eh? Yes. Increase in demand increases consumption. Will automatically make our economy grow. So cut down the taxes. Once you cut down the taxes, ensure that you inject more money into the system. Then when there's an economic boom, when the economy is growing up, increase the taxes a little. Remember, the economy is not growing in Kenya now. So increase a little tax, then the government to spend less. Because people shall have had money to spend. So even if tax is increased, people have money in their pockets to spend. But you cannot make a grave mistake, a mistaken belief that people have money. People have no money, people have no jobs. Therefore, increasing tax in an economy where there are no jobs and there is no money, you are paralyzing this nation. Then I don't see the reason, the need why you work so hard to campaign 
you pray to be the president just for you to want to be hated for no reason okay. why did you do so so i think uh, that is a very very bad choice that the president made mm -hmm. and on the issue of the debt yes. i have the president saying clearly that he should not take more loans I want to also educate him on the issue of loans. And it's as simple as this. We had a great economist who was called Franco Modigliani, an Italian-American based economy, economist who won Nobel Prize because of economics. Franco Modigliani stated clearly that during your working days, you can save more as you work so that you fund your retirement. And that is the introduction of the loan system through a theory called the life cycle consumption theory that he came up with. Okay? So, what you ought to have enjoyed in 70 years' time, you can enjoy it now by taking a loan for it, okay. by taking a mortgage for it. Then you pay slowly as you enjoy it. Okay. Because probably you can save all your lifetime, then when you, when you reach the retirement age, you are, not, you are not existing. You shall have been dead by then. So what you need to enjoy in the future, you can enjoy it presently as you pay for it. Right. Therefore, the loan system is not wrong. What is wrong is you borrow money. If you borrow money, and there are, there are so many leakages like corruption, then you find that this borrowed money is going to waste. Then there was also a gentleman called Maton Miller. Modigliani, Franco Modigliani and Maton Miller came up with a theorem that states that, that the debt and the equity in a company an amalgamation or a mixture of the debt and equity in a company okay need not necessarily bring down the company so long as the market is efficiently run right. but you see our company in kenya that that uh, that uh, gashagwa is referring to is not efficiently run. Therefore, we will go down whether we like it or not. Thank you. On funding, obvious, uh, housing, housing finance, the 3% contribution, what's your reflection? You know, this is a, a model that was being used by Lee Kuan Yee in Singapore. When introduced, when Singapore was growing, developing he decided to introduce the issue the idea of the housing and i think uh president Ruth has borrowed it from singapore but you see the application is wrong you can borrow something and you apply it wrong okay what i think the government is doing now or what they want to do is to introduce that tax 